For guitar, some build their own, and some bring a classic back. I love a harmony rocket. I've owned about ten of them. That's a good one. And he has a quilter, ladies and gentlemen. We are, uh, we love quilters. Pat Quilter's a genius. More about that later. Come ask me. You know, one time, uh, I had a, 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 I won't call him a friend. I knew a guy that would used to come see us all the time back in the 60s or early 70s or something. He showed up one night. All his friends were there. And I said, uh, his friend, his buddy said, I thought you couldn't come. He said, I tied her to a kitchen chair with an extension cord. By God, I came on out. <laughs> and I was frightened. You know. I would never dream of doing anything like that, but I wrote it down in case I ever needed it again. And he said, I brought my guitar. Can I play it? And I said, yeah. And he had that very guitar right there. And at the end of the night, I'm sorry to say, it got broken all to pieces. Not a pretty story, but hey, the world is full of ugly stories. That's right. I love a good ugly story. It's a beautiful world full of wonderful people. guitar like that is you got 27 knobs to pick from. Stuff like harmony and tone and split tone and wild dog and stuff you just don't get on all the other stuff. Food on the table, no shoes on your feet business. Right here.
We certainly value guns and knives and watches and wallets, jewelry up here on the table on your way out. Cuban cigars, bottles of scotch, anything that might get you in trouble outside, leave it in here. You don't want to get in trouble outside. Leave it in here. Go on and leave it in here, baby. Tired. 